Hey, welcome back, everybody. Wake up. Today's World Sleep Day. You know, we spend about a third of our lives deep inside it, and it, it's essential to our survival, like food and water. But good sleep can be hard to catch, especially when the clocks and the seasons change. Here with some super slumber shut-eye tips is Dr. Sleep, Dr. Michael Awad, a sleep specialist at Northwestern University. And uh, doctor, I say good morning to you. Good morning, George. How are you doing today? I'm well. Thanks for being here. Uh, the theme of this year's World Sleep Day is regular sleep, healthy future. Uh, sleep, it's a long game, isn't it, Doc? Absolutely. I mean, sleep is all about discipline. And I always say to think of sleep like a muscle. Treat it like you would any exercise routine, any nutrition regimen. This isn't a change to make for the short term. It's a lifestyle and it's a discipline that you need to develop over the course of your lifetime. I really like that analogy. Uh, OK, let's talk about the effects that you've observed on sleep patterns and sleep habits with the pandemic. Yeah, so certainly we've seen uh, a lot of changes in people's sleep habits during the pandemic. Uh, we've seen a lot of folks who are actually sleeping a little bit better, having the opportunity to avoid commuting, working from home. And conversely, with a lot of us dealing with new stressors and anxiety, we've also seen a lot of folks who are having a lot more trouble sleeping, trouble falling asleep and trouble staying asleep. And that's uh, not uncommon during these periods of intense stress. Okay, tip time. Give us some tips on, on ways to get a better night's sleep. And I use the word night as a keyword because before we even get to those, I want to get your, or you come down on the, on the, the whole, uh, you know, one shot, get all your sleep in one shot versus naps, kind of a, a split shift when it comes to sleep. Mm -hmm. So I think the, the biggest thing that you can do to improve your sleep is to make it regular. So the theme of today's World Sleep Day is uh, regular sleep, healthy future. And that's really because the evidence in the study suggests to us that not only is the duration of sleep important, but think of sleep in terms of the three Ds. So that's duration, depth, and disturbances. So duration is important, getting seven to nine hours, aiming for eight hours a night every single night. But in terms of the duration, uh, we also need to think about making sure that our sleep is regular, getting to bed at the same time every night, waking up at the same time every day. That allows our internal body clock that regulates so many of our essential body functions to get in line and to know when it's time for us to fall asleep and ultimately we'll find it much easier to fall asleep. And you may even find yourself being one of those people who can wake up without an alarm clock mm -hmm. if you've been wondering how they do it. <laughs> and then finally is disturbances. And that means avoiding disturbances, reducing the light around us as we get ready to get to bed. And then as you get up in the morning, get exposure to that early morning light as much as possible. That's going to trigger your internal body clock that it's time to be up, awake, and make you feel a little bit more refreshed. Doctor, what about food and beverage, the effects before and after sleep? Yeah, so that internal body clock I was telling you about, it's important for regulating so many of our essential functions. And one of those is our metabolism. So actually, one of the other triggers that we can help our body with is avoiding uh, food within about four hours of bedtime. And another key is avoiding caffeine. Caffeine has a half-life of about five hours. That means that five hours after you have that afternoon cup of coffee, 50% of it is still in your body. And then about 25% of it is still in your body about eight hours later. So if you have that two o'clock coffee by midnight, you still have about 25% of that caffeine in your body. And even if it doesn't give you trouble falling asleep, it disrupts the type of sleep and the quality that you get without you knowing. So you might not make the association, hey, I had that afternoon coffee and the next right. day I woke up a little bit groggy. Dr. Uh, Michael Awad, great tips, uh, great chat, uh, valuable information. We thank you for your time and uh, we'll talk to you again sometime soon, I hope. Happy World Sleep Day, George. <laughs> Sleep well. To you too, doctor. Okay, it's over to Gurdip now for news.